Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm very excited because I'm finally showing you um, my ColourPop order, which is the Hello Kitty Tropical Escape collection. Yeah, I probably should have filmed this video <laughs> a long time ago, but as far as I know, this is still in stock and I think it think it's on sale. I know it used to be, but anyway, I will leave the details below um, because I didn't check the website, which I probably should have done before filming this video. But anyway, um, yeah, so basically we're going to do like a whole unboxing and everything because everything is still in the package and I did open everything already because I'm always scared when I get a ColourPop order that something might have broke because it comes like from LA. So yeah, and sometimes um, like in the past I've had shadows that are like out of the pan. They haven't broken but they're not in the pan if you know what I mean. But everything is good. So and I also said I would do my eyes first today so that's why I don't have anything on except my skincare. Um, so let's just get started. Um, so first of all, when you get the whole collection, it comes with stickers, which I love. I also got the Animal Crossing stickers. And I think I'm gonna put these on my uh, Nintendo Switch carrying case thing. I don't know. Because I was like, where where should I put them? But I think that's going to be a cute place to put with my Animal Crossing stickers. So you get that. Um, and then they always send this cute little thank you card that says thanks a latte. And we'll just dive right in. So I did get the full collection, like I said. So the first thing I'm going to use today, because it's actually a prep product, is the... Um, lippy scrub so this is the packaging it's so cute I think I'm gonna keep it at least for a while um, it's in pineapple pop and it is pineapple scented so this is what the component oh, oh my god <laughs> it's so cute um, so it just says hello kitty and color pop on the front and yeah, it just says pineapple lippy scrub. And it doesn't say anything else. Like, it doesn't say how to use or anything on the package. So I went on ColourPop's site because I've never had a lip scrub from ColourPop before. And I was like, is it like the Lush scrub where you like, it's like actual sugar. So you just like lick it. Um, and it didn't say anything. So really I'm not even sure how to use this, but this is like, um, it has one of these lid things on top that you pull off. It does smell like pineapple, but very subtly. Like it's not like something overpowering, which I like. So yeah, I don't even know what to do. Because <laughs> if you look at the texture of this, like it looks like a bomb, right? Because the Lush scrubs are like basically just sugar and oil but this looks like a bomb so what do i do do i put my nail in i mean whatever so like anyone else is gonna use it okay so yeah it is very like when i put my nail in it now i feel like the sugary texture so i'm just gonna go right <laughs> in i guess Okay, I did take like way too much. Hmm. I should have taken my Sephora lip scrub tool thing to do this. But yeah, it feels like uh, not as rough as a Lush sugar scrub. It has like a more like a balm texture and I mean it does taste sweet but I don't know yeah I think I'm just gonna wipe off the excess because it doesn't say like explicitly to eat it I'm not really sure but 
okay. I mean, my lips feel smooth. Okay, so I got all the sugar off. Yeah, they feel nice and smooth and soft. <laughs> so the next thing, I guess I'll do the blushes. And I'm very excited about these blushes because I feel like all the other blushes that I have, which are also from collabs, like the Sailor Moon collection, the Animal Crossing collection, they're always like pink. And if you guys are new here, you might not know that I really like like peachy, warm, terracotta blushes. So I'm excited to say that they actually made these a bit different from what they have already. So the first one here, this is the packaging. Oh my god, I have to keep it, I think. Um, so it just says, Hello Kitty Pressed Powder Blush. And this is the shade Aloha, right? Yeah, Aloha Honey. So there's the name and the inside, just super cute. Oops. Okay, just lost this little plastic thing. But this is the first one. Which, yes, is still like in the pink family, but it's much more like vibrant than other blushes I have from ColourPop. And there's a cute little Hello Kitty stamp on it. And it says here, cheek to cheeky, which is cute. Um, so that's the first one. And everything comes in its own little bubble wrap, which I like. And I keep these because I use them for my Etsy shop. Um, so this is the other one. So same packaging, just in yellow. And yeah, this is the shade Island Shine. Oh, so I just noticed they do have like different packaging. So this one had the Hello Kitty with a little pineapple. And this one has a little cherry. Oh, and the stamp is different too. That's the bow. So there's this one, which I also love. So it's more like a fuchsia pink. There's no scent to these, if you were wondering. And then we have the four eyeshadows, which I'm obsessed. So I wasn't like really when I heard about like another Hello Kitty collab with ColourPop, I was like, ah, whatever. Um, I actually don't have any of the other Hello Kitty collabs, although I do love Hello Kitty and when I was a kid, like I was obsessed with it. I just felt like nothing they had was ever very different, like to my collection until this, um, until I saw the photos of this collab, which I just love the colors, especially for summer. So the first one is the orange one. So this is called Teeny Keeny Pressed Powder Palette. Um, yeah, very cute packaging again. Same packaging on the component. And look at this. I love it. I love orange eyeshadow and what I like about these two is that yes they're like all in one color family but there's different like dimension so I know sometimes like um, monochromatic palettes look really boring and like you can't get a lot of looks but I think this is really this is a really cute combo and there's an orange stamped on this one, which is really cute. So yeah, I love this. So see what I mean how this is more like um, a more vibrant collection for ColourPop, especially in their Hello Kitty collabs, which are usually just very basic and like pink, I feel. Then we have the blue one. This is Coco Cutie. That's what it looks like. Ooh. So I think this is the one I want to use today because I love how it looks. This is like a turquoise blue. Co 
color story. Um, yeah, and it has a little like coconut drink. This looks beautiful. Then we have the pink one. This is cherry sweet. Love this one too. It's like a fuchsia, almost like purple leaning color story. I really love it. And if you're someone that hates ColourPop when they put pressed glitters, there's no pressed glitters in any of these. So, just so you know. And I believe someone said that there was no sequin shadows in these palettes, but I'm pretty sure there is. If Anyway, I'm not even sure what a sequin shadow is, but I thought it was those matte shadows that have glitter in them, which I know some people don't like because they don't understand the point of it, and neither do I really, because you could just make a matte shadow, because usually the glitter just falls away anyway. Um, but I did, I thought there was some, so I'll go back to that when I get into the look, I guess. But this is the last one. This is the yellow pineapple cake palette. This one is so cute. I love yellow eyeshadow also. I love all colors of eyeshadow, I guess. Yeah, this one is super cute too. So yeah, I think these are very fun summery color stories. They're all very bright, but you could always mix and match them too if you had the whole collection because I'm pretty sure you can just buy the individual ones, but I always buy a full collection when I order from ColourPop because first of all, I'll get free shipping and it's just worth more worth it for me because of the exchange rate and all that stuff anyway, so. So the last thing in the collection is the Glowing Lip Balm Set, which I am obsessed with the packaging of these. So there's three lip balms. They have the shade on the bottom. So the first one, so well, first of all, this packaging, I love how it feels. It's like that, um, soft touch kind of thing, but not rubbery, so it doesn't get all like full of fingerprints and stuff, like the NARS packaging. Um, it just feels really nice and like good quality. So this is, they all have this same packaging, which is just like these little tropical flowers with the Hello Kitty here. And it just says like Hello Kitty and ColourPop. So this one is the shade Tropic Cutie. It looks like this. Do these? I think these smell like something. Very subtly though. The next one is the shade Fun in the Sun. Which is more like a nude, I guess. Neutral pinky shade and then the last one is hello fruity which is the bright like fuchsia one very cute so these are lip like tinted lip balms let me just swatch them okay yeah so they still have a lot of color as you can see and i find that's like a common theme with color pop even their just a tint lip crayons are very pigmented i feel so yeah, I think it's fun to have different colors because they all look different. Sometimes tinted lip balms are so sheer that it's just like any color you put on is just gonna look like your lip color but with a sheen. But these do have nice pigmentation. So there's all the colors. So they're all, yeah, they're all quite different. I really like this one, this peachy one. Okay, so I'm going to zoom you in because, like I said, I'm going to do my eyes first, I think. I'm scared. <laughs> I never do that, but I just feel, because I'm going to use the blue, the blue eyeshadow palette, and usually when I use blue eyeshadow, I get fallout, and then it's 
bad because it mixes with my foundation and makes it look like green after and it's just not a good look so and I'm not sure if these will have fallout or not so yeah I guess that's what I'm gonna do but first I will apply my Urban Decay Primer Potion okay so Coco Cutie. Yeah, so this is what I meant about the sequin shadow. There's this one, which looks matte, but as you can see in the light, there is like shimmer in it. So I don't know if that's what a sequin shadow is called. I'm just I'm trying to think, should I go in with like a base shadow first? Give me in a bit more. Um, because usually I don't go in directly with a color on my eye and the lightest shade in this palette is this one Lovely Luau which is obviously not a light shade it's a bright like turquoise so I'm just wondering now I think I'll just use one palette because I want to see can you get one one look like without having to dip into other things because I don't really like doing that anyway. I don't, I'm not the kind of person that gets into like three different palettes, you know? My brain doesn't work like that. I just wanna look at one thing and figure out what to do. So let's just do it. And I think this is gonna be a very strange look <laughs> for me anyway. Okay, I think what I wanna do is go in with this like fluffy, um, crease brush. It's the BMX 430 from Royal and Line Nickel, the Moda Pro line. And I'm gonna go in with Lovely Luau. Luau. I don't know why I said it like that. And pretty much like all in the crease and yeah, all over almost. Um, yeah, so let's just do that. I'm gonna do one eye on camera because this video will be a thousand years long if not. Whoa, okay, so yes, a lot of kick up in the pan, if you can even tell. Um, a lot of pigment on the brush. <laughs> Just gonna tap that off and go right in. So I think what I want to do is like a halo eye. So I'm going to put this, like I said, in the crease and just like lay it down everywhere. But with the deeper shade, the one that I think is a sequin shade, I'm going to add more depth on the outer and inner corner. So just like that. This is like a really unique shade. It's almost like a sea foam green. I like it. So that blend blended super easily. But it is like a lighter shade, so I mean, can't really go wrong with that. So then with like a smaller brush, I think I'm gonna use this like flat. Aveda brush. I'm gonna go in with the shade Hang 10 and we'll just see how oop, very powdery if you can see. I always feel like I have to show you that although I personally don't really care if a shade is powdery or not. Well there was a lot of fallout when I tapped that off so I'm gonna try and just Deepen this up on the corner. Okay, I think this brush was not that clean. <laughs> I'm seeing some other color in here, but whatever, it's fine. Then on the inner corner, just kind of like stamping that in. And I'm gonna leave like the middle 
bare so that I can go in with the shimmer shades. I kind of didn't want that to go so far in, but yeah, I think I can fix that. So, yeah. I guess I thought this shade would be deeper. Um, but no, I think it's pretty true to how it looks in the pan. And it's blending really nicely. It's not like sticking down or anything. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this already. So whenever I do like a look like this, it looks very crazy at first, but it will come together, I hope. So, um, in the center, I'm going to go in with the shade Shaved Ice. And I think I'm going to use my finger. Oh yeah, that's like very creamy and metallic. And I'm going to try and like keep that in the center, like so. That's really pretty. And maybe just pat any excess like up into the crease. And then with the deeper Bay Breeze shade, I'm gonna blend the, the matte blue into the shimmer. That's my plan. So I think I need like a smaller brush. Like this Sephora shader. Pro shader number 18. Just like where the the two colors meet kind of thing. And then with the first brush I used, without putting any more product, I'm just gonna try and like soften the lines. Yeah, so I didn't mean to get that like that, but whatever. I don't want to lose like the depth here, so I'm going to go in with this Sephora Pro Bullet Crease Brush. Just tap into the deep matte with shimmer shade and just add some back right here in the outer corner. and the inner corner. So that's how it's looking. I don't know if I like the blue here. Yeah, I might need to take some, take like a matte cream shade just to soften that because I didn't mean to bring it in so far, but the brush I used was like too fluffy and the shade was like easily blendable so it went all the way in. So I'm just gonna fix that. Well, that didn't really work, but I think once I put like my highlight shade there, it's going to be okay. So, I mean, it's not finished obviously, but that's what the lid is looking like. I'm going to do the other eye and the rest of my base, like foundation, because there's obviously no foundation in this collection. And then I'll be back to do like the rest of the eye and everything else. Okay, so I did my base off camera, my highlighter, and bronzer, and eyebrows, which look weird. <laughs> um, but obviously we have blush to use, so I think for this look, I'm gonna have to use 
the more orangey blush, um, which is Aloha Honey. Let me just look at the other one again. Yeah, this one feels weird to put a powder blush on because <laughs> I've been using so many creams. So I'm just going to do a few dabs. Yeah, so there's not a lot of like tons of kick up on the blush. It's more hard pressed. Um, yeah, so I'll just go right in. Ooh. Ooh, I love this color. Okay, it's it is more pigmented <laughs> than I was expecting. Ooh, I really like the color of this though. Is that too much? I don't know. We'll finish the eyes and then we'll see if I should go over that with a sponge or not. But I really love the color of this blush. Yes, very happy. It's like kind of like a tangerine shade. It does look pink on camera, but in person it's more, yeah, like an orangey blush. So I really like that. So I kind of want to do the same thing that I did on my lids to the bottom lash line. Um, by the way, I did put my highlighter in the inner corners and kind of like blended it up so that it wasn't so like blue right here on like the bridge of my nose. And I like how it looks. I feel very like ocean eyes-ish. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to redo the same thing. So first I'm going to go in with the Lovely Luau shade. Only I'm not going to use the same brush because it's too fluffy. And I'm running out of brushes because they need to be cleaned. I guess I can use this. This, um, this is another Moda brush, but it doesn't have a, a number on it. And I don't want it to get too smoky so I'm going to concentrate on like getting it pretty close to my lash line and I do want it to like connect up here because when I um before I did my base I cleaned up the line here with a makeup wipe so um now there's like a sharp edge that needs to be connected and there wasn't too much fallout at all so like if you really didn't want to do your eyes first I don't think you have to and you could always put like a layer of powder down and then wipe it away which is what I used to do a lot okay so just like a base of that color down and I think I'm just gonna use the same brush to put the deeper shadow just on the outer corner here if you can even see i could just use a mirror in this palette right <laughs> i'm just being careful because i don't want that to be blown out everywhere and these shadows are like super easy to blend out so yeah just trying to be careful of that and then right in the center, I have this like super tiny brush. I don't know where it came from. There's nothing written on it. Most likely a BoxyCharm brush set. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna use this to go in with the shimmer, but I think I wanna wet my brush because I want it to be not everywhere. So I'm just gonna use my setting spray. So I'm going in with the Shaved Ice shade. Just like if I look straight, right where my like pupil is. This isn't actually the best brush for this because it's very stiff. But I think that's what I 
head and mind. And then just with the brush I used to put the highlighter in my inner corner and just kind of like blend that with the rest here. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's very blue. And it's only because like I really just wanted to stick to this one palette to see what I could do, but yeah, I did use all the shades and I really like I really liked everything. I have no complaints. So yeah, I'm assuming that every formula in the other palettes is the same for this one. I do want to put a nude liner on my waterline. So I'm gonna use my Tarte Fake Awake as per usual. Yeah, I, I think the blush looks fine. I don't know, no, there's no shimmer in this blush, right? I think it just mixed with my highlighter and made it look shimmery. Yeah, this is a matte blush, so that's my highlighter. So maybe I'll just like blend it a little bit better. But I like the two together. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Sky High and my Wet n Wild Mega Length for the bottom lashes. Just cause it's like a drier formula and the Sky High is like very wet. And it's still wet after being open for a few months now. So in case you were wondering if that ever gets drier, it's still wet. So sometimes I get it on my lower lashes, but yeah. I really like the color of this, it's fun. It has like enough brightness to be more like a modern take on blue. You know that like blue that's like very 80s? It doesn't look like that, which I'm happy about. So for the lips, I think, yeah, I'm just gonna go in with one of these because they were pretty pigmented when I swatched them out. Um, my lips still feel soft from the scrub, but they don't really feel moisturized. So, I mean, you'd probably wanna use the scrub and then put a lip balm on if you were just doing that. I need to use a peachier tone to go with the blush. So, oh, yeah, these do definitely have a scent. I think it's kind of like a tropical coconut scent, if I'm smelling that correctly. So this is Fun in the Sun. I think that might be the winner. The other two are the pink ones, right? Yeah, so this one, Tropic Cutie. Wait, now I'm confused which one was the peachy. And yeah, this was the bright one, so, I mean, that could go with this. Any of these shades could go with this. Just depends like what look you're going for. Yeah, Fun in the Sun is the more like peachy nude one. So that's what I want to use today. I've never tried a, what are they calling these? A glowing lip balm or just a lip balm from ColourPop. So, ooh, that was more like, it's very creamy. Like you can't even see like just applying it. I like move the the bullet around, you know what I mean? And it kind of went everywhere. <laughs> it's very similar to the Tarte Lip Rescue, which is my favorite lip product like ever. So I like this. I did just kind of get it all over. I mean, now that it's mixed with my lips, it does look very pink anyway because of my lip color underneath like my natural lip so mm, i think i still like it though yeah it's fine <laughs> mm. 
So I think that's everything. Yeah, I just need to apply some setting spray, but it's nothing new, just the one that's in my project pan. Yeah, I'm happy with everything and I really like that blush, so very excited about that. And I really want to use the yellow eyeshadow palette also. I just don't want to like mix too many things together today. Um, yeah, I really just wanted to try out the formula, which is amazing. I mean, ColourPop usually is like a hit for me from what I've tried so far. I'm not someone that buys ColourPop like often because of the exchange rate and everything, the fact that I'm in Canada and the shipping. Although I will say when I bought the, the Hello Kitty collection, it was on launch day and they shipped it the same day that I bought it. It's just that whenever it comes to Canada, it just sits in like the warehouse for like a week and a half for no reason because we have the best postal service ever um but yeah so i just don't buy a lot because they release so many things like every week there's something new so i just tend to buy the things that i would like to collect and that are more meaningful to me so that's why i only have the animal crossing collection because i love animal crossing the Sailor Moon collection, because I love Sailor Moon. And now the Hello Kitty collection. So, yeah. Um, I've been happy with everything. And I feel like I don't mind that I have to pay more because of the exchange. Because it is worth it anyway. Like, this whole collection, I think it was $89. Which, like, if I had bought four different palettes, two blushes, three lip balms, and a lip scrub. If I had bought that like at Sephora or something, no, it'd be like a thousand dollars. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with everything. So if you guys want to see more looks with this, like, I don't know if you do. I mean, I already feel like summer is over, although it's not. It just feels like that for some reason. But if you do, just let me know. And yeah, I would love to try more of the eyeshadows because I really like how this turned out. So I hope you liked this video if it was at all helpful if you were considering buying anything from this collection. Um, I know I didn't really go into more depth about the eyeshadow palettes but if you have any questions just let me know and give it a like if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!